Hey guys, Joel here from American Survival Co. And this is going to be a quick tip video that is a student request. How do I get my ridge lines up so very nice and high when it's hot out like it is now? I just want to give you a quick little tip. And it's a little bonus because it turns into other things too. So if I'm going to spend the time to do this, I get more out of it. And that's the reason I like this way that I'm going to show you. So stay tuned. So as you can see, this is you know not a new concept and definitely not my idea by any means, but it's something that I find myself doing often because it's quick and it's easy. And so say for whatever reason there wasn't a stump or a boulder or anything to get me a higher purchase so I can tie my ridge line up so that I have more loft underneath my tarp so I don't sleep as hot. You know, this is something that I can whip up very, very quickly. Uh, with a little bit of knot knowledge and some cordage um, and you got yourself a little makeshift ladder we can even kind of change the angles if I tie this up here obviously I'm going to be able to get even higher up the tree and you know improvise adapt and overcome so all you need to whip one of these up are three sticks really and I got a bipod right here which I do this quickie method of lashing together and then I just have a cross member right here that I also, depending on how much time I want to spend on it, um, do a, a quickie method. But I want to devote an entire video just to that because I think it's kind of cool and I want to show it to you. So keep your eyes peeled for that video. Okay, so I broke the chair down because I, I want to whip one up and show you how quick it actually is. Um, obviously... The time in gathering the materials is, is not going to count towards this. Sometimes that's the hardest part, right? But this could be, you know, anything sturdy enough and strong enough to stand on. But basically, I got two about seven foot poles, about, you know, arm thick. And I have a cross piece that's about, I don't know, four feet. Let's call that four feet, a little bit above uh, the belly button. So, I'm not going to talk much. I'm just going to kind of whip these together. I'll, I'll, I'll show you some stuff, but hey, let's even just time ourselves. Before we start, though, I do want to show you this. This is how I'm going to make my bipod, and I'm just going to utilize, really, this is all extra right here, but I got this loop of line. Any knot you can do right here. This is not meant to be a knot video, but we're just looking for a loop of line. That's, I'm going to make a quickie bipod. That's what you see me doing here. But I'm going to back out the camera and hopefully give you a shot of me doing this. And then we'll go from there. We'll see how long it takes. Okay? I, I got to tie two knots basically because I already have this. We'll see how long it takes. I'm already at four seconds, so let's get hustling. I'm going to take this loop of line. Put it over the skinny ends of my stick. Flip one. Get nice and tight. And just for good measure, I'll flip that one again. So I got three minutes and six seconds. Hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how easy it can be. Um, there's so many ways to get this done, but it's all about thinking outside the box. You've probably seen that same technique before as a chair, but it can also be a ladder, uh, especially you would not believe the difference that being able to get that tarp up higher. It doesn't seem like they trap a lot of heat, but they do, especially when you're you know, sleeping in a hammock in the summertime out here, it makes a huge difference. And so hopefully that tip will help you out. Get your ridge lines up higher. Sometimes I do other stuff. I might have a Y stick to push it up as I'm tying, but this is kind of my tried and true quickie method. And then I have a chair after anyways. So I like it. Maybe you'll like it too.
So that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Very quick, down and dirty technique. I used some special knots in that to make this go a little bit quicker, and I'm going to dedicate a whole separate video to that because it's kind of cool. Uh, it was a, a student that kind of goofed up a, a really well-known knot and kind of turned it into a whole different application for me. Been using it ever since. That's how I was able to do it that quickly. If I had done a traditional lashing, I'd still be lashing it. Um, but for the application, it's good enough. It's not meant to be a permanent you know, weight bearing knot, but if I'm just using it to create a boost to get some height on my tarp, it works and it's quick. So hopefully you find that useful. If you like learning cool stuff like this, I encourage you to check out americansurvivalco.com. See if you can make it out to a class. We'd love to train with you. And even if you can't do that, we're also a part of Flint Steel Critical Skills Group. So yeah, if, the, if this kind of stuff is in your wheelhouse and I'm too far away from you or Matt's too far away from you, check out Flint Steel Critical Skills Group. There, there's so many awesome structures, I can't even name them all. But we're all very active on, on the Facebook page there and, and on the website. We list our classes, so we might be in your area, we might be traveling, you never know. We might be closer than you think. And that's a really great place for a one-stop shop to figure out who is closest to you that we think is worth learning from. So. Uh, check out Flint Steel Critical Skills Group once again. If you're in my area, come out and see me, man. I would love to train with you and enjoy these beautiful woods with you. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, I know there's a million channels out there to be watching. Just the fact that you stopped here at ours, it means a lot. So, uh, until the next video, catch you guys later.